Hello everybody. So I am here with baby Lamar. I don't know you guys probably haven't seen him in a while. But the funny thing is the last time you seen him he had on the same little um, pajama set. I'm going to do something that's going to be really crazy. I think baby Lamar is going to be my pajama man. Like I did not want to take him out of this this um pajama set. And I really don't want to take him out of it now, but I'm like, I got to see if he looks cute in other things. So I was going to lay him down, but yeah, I do I need to lay him down so I can get him changed. So I am going to attempt to put him on a different hat. Um, um, onesie and an elephant um, sleeper that I had in the closet. Um, I'm trying to dress my babies warm right now because of the the change of weather but I don't necessarily put my babies like always like holiday themes like there will be a few that might have on red or something like that but I don't really buy like um, holiday clothes but I do I would like to find like some cute little like holiday boots and stuff for some of my babies. He is so chunky and that's why I really like him. He, look at those little fat little, I mean, he's really got fat thighs and he's really a fat baby. So, he's big. So I'm gonna see, this, this, um, sleeper is actually a six month. Um, so I just wanted to talk to you guys while I do this and some of the things I'm gonna talk about is, um, buying. Um, I know that a lot of people, oh, warning, disclosure, when I switched his hat, I started out rooting him and I never finished and so his hair, that's why he's a hat baby. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to just pull it out and start over because the hairline was all jacked up. So I don't know. I think I'll probably go cross and take the hairline off and then redo that and then fill him in and finish him at some point. Um, just haven't had the time. But, um, when, when, um, buying babies, uh, some artists offer layaway and some don't, um, the layaway is like kind of can be like the best thing for a lot of people. Um, I'm very impatient, so I rarely do layaway, but I have done it and I, I will take advantage of this. Like sometimes some babies you... It might be the only way that you can see yourself being able to get it without missing out um, on that baby. But when my... Okay, so here's the pros and cons with the little way. The pros is, of course, you get to pay on time. You get to make payments so you don't have to pay it all at one time. It gives you time enough to come up with all the money or whatever. The cons is... I know this is kind of a big onesie. Oh yeah, I need to change the diaper. The cause is that you depends on how long you do the layaway. Um, any hope, even even um, of first of all, first of all, PayPal typically do not honor. In most cases, do not honor layaway. So, if you make payments on a baby. Um, what am I doing? If you make payments on a baby, PayPal will not cover layaway. They don't they don't cover you when you do a layaway. So that's out the window in most cases anyway. Um now I have seen where they've honored it. Um I've actually been in a case where they actually did honor mine and I did win the case. Um, but I think a lot of that had to do with the particular artist that was the whole Lucy thing, um, is because they said that she had so many claims against her. So I guess in that case, they just knew that this person just was doing bad business. So that's why they, they honored it anyway. And sadly, I will admit I did pay friends and family also with that artist too, and they still honored it. 
but like I said again they did did um, let me know that there were multiple claims at that time against that same artist so um, that's why they I, that's why I'm thinking they honored it but anyway um so layaways that's the only risk but if you're dealing with a reputable artist um, most of the time you know you don't have to worry about it you're gonna get your dog um, rather it's you know on time or a little bit late that's the other thing with layaways um, then on top of and then they always get confusing too some some artists they start your baby like as soon as you start paying some artists don't start your baby until after your last payment so when you're entering a layaway agreement you want to maybe ask that specifically because that's where I see a lot of people like getting all hot and bothered and upset about um, the artist taking a long time with the baby but they've had been paying on layaway and the artist don't start is one of those artists that don't start until the layaway is completed. Customs is kind of the same way. Well, cus doing a custom, that's the other thing is, yeah, you get to pick out all the details and everything, but then that artist, if that artist take a long time, your PayPal time may run out. So a lot of those things, and you just don't never want to pay friends and family unless now I have some people that I pay friends and family and I have for years um some of the artists that I've done, dealt with many many times I've paid um friends and family I'm not going to say which artists those are because I don't want nobody running and paying them friends and family and then saying that you know I did it blah 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 um and I've never had any problem I've also paid a few of my friends fellow collector friends friends and family too um as well but i do not encourage it but i don't want to lie and say i've never done it because there's going to be somebody watching here and saying oh my god you know she's lying she's paid me friends and family but yeah i just strongly don't agree with it because in most cases if anything go wrong you're not covered you're not covered you don't have a leg to stand on because you paid friends and family and not as a service. Um, what else? Yeah, I think that was it. But yeah, but I just, I can pop the tag off now. I was making sure that he could fit it. Oops, I can pick that up. He's so big. Like, it's so funny. Because I used to didn't like uh, smaller, I mean bigger babies. And now I do. And the thing is, is that he was one of my babies that didn't even come out perfect. But he came out to be like one of my favorite babies. And I want to paint this kid again. I, I'm going to keep painting until I get it correct. I think he's going to be like one of those Gabigail type kids that I paint multiple times. So, that is him. Now, see, I told y'all about, warned y'all about his little hair. So, it's not finished. But he's going to get his, <laughs> like he got cornrows. He's going to get a different hat on. And I'll be buying all these little hats from um, eBay. And I think they come from China. Pretty sure. Maybe really cheap. A couple dollars, two, three dollars, five dollars, stuff like that. Look at him. I'm going to see if I sit him down like this so you guys can see his little pom pom. But look at the camera, man. Look at the camera. So he's like, he's my. You got fat mama and fat daddy. This is fat daddy. But I honestly, in my opinion, think his sculpt is cuter than fat mama's sculpt. But maybe it's because the way I painted her. I need to maybe give that a try again too. 
because I think I kind of failed on that one, but I like his skin tone. And um, there are similar skin tones, but like I said, her face is, in person, is not that great. The painting is very flat and chalky looking. Um, his is more, more alive looking and stuff. So, um, so when I say that she's not painted well, you have to just trust me on that. Her um, limbs and everything is good, but her face, I don't know what happened there. But, <laughs> but like him, he has like some imperfections, like his hands, I don't know. His fingertips like look like a kid paint on them. It's very, they're not they're not neat at all. But my video is about to end, so see you guys later. Bye bye.